Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today we're going to talk on a topic that feels really close to my heart and that is hair care. I can't stress enough about how important um, good hair care routine is because I had quite the hard time and quite the journey until I got to where I am today having like this long and shiny and soft hair. Um, and I want to share my experience with you. So if you want to know more about how you can keep caring um, about your hair or how you can restore hair from bleaching and being blonde, which is what I did, then keep on watching. So I started bleaching my hair back in 2000. Um, 17 I think 2018 maybe the beginning of 2018 because I wanted to get a balayage I had completely natural dark hair like my hair is almost black it took me like two times to bleach it and make it blonde um, but still not like super super light blonde I'll insert some photos maybe somewhere on the screen so we can see um, but yeah, I started the Genia 2018 and I think I bleached it twice until I got the results that I wanted and I kept on having the balayage for maybe um, around a year or a little bit less than a year. Um, back in 2019, I decided I want to go dark again, so I did and I think after that, things started to get bad. <laughs> Later. In 2019 around Christmas time I wanted a change and I went back to a blonde balayage I bleached it twice again I went to a professional salon I've never done this at home I, I don't dye my hair at home everything I do I do it in a salon which is what you should do I don't recommend you using a box dye or doing it by yourself but even though I went to a salon and I used super quality, high quality products, my hair was still super damaged from all the bleaching and dyeing and everything. I got from light brown the first time, then I got to blonde, like completely blonde except for my roots. Um, and I kept it for for quite some time actually, I think for a little bit less than a year again. After I bleached it, my hair, like March 20, 2020, March 2020, like it was this length. So it was really bad from here down. It was super dry. It was uh, breaking nonstop and it looked disgusting, especially because it was blonde. You can, you could really tell that it was dry and it was not healthy hair even though I love my long hair and I didn't want to cut it or anything I decided I have to and that's the best way for it to recover so I cut it up until my collarbones I think up to here um, back in August 2020 I didn't dye it it was just it was still the balayage um, I just cut it and it looked good it was fine and I decided that I want to restore its natural, like at least its natural form and um, natural state. I stopped using um, hair straighteners as much. I used to love doing it. I, I was always like with straight hair, especially because my hair was so short. If I didn't straighten it, it looked, it, it was just not a good look. So I tried to, minimize the usage of hair straighteners kind of did kind of didn't i decided to take better care for it i tried so many things i tried the rice water which everybody talk about um and it was all over tiktok um and i've seen all of these girls having these amazing results so i tried it out it didn't work for me it actually made my hair kind of flat and dry feeling a year after i cut it august 2021 it had grown with just like this much maybe even less it was almost on the same 
same length <laughs> um, it wasn't moving it wasn't growing and that was because of breakage due to me bleaching the hair my hair started breaking a lot every time I brushed it I could see like this little this big pieces of hair like it was my my hair was literally breaking and that's why it was growing I was super super disappointed and at some point I, I was crying I, I wanted to get my hair back to being long and healthy and I was kind of feeling um, desperate after August 2021 I decided to invest more on products ditch the rice water <laughs> Um, invest more in products completely ditching the straightener or at least use it like for important occasions not on an everyday basis so the first thing I thought was the Olaplex shampoo and Olaplex conditioner so these two were the first things I bought and the first things that actually helped my hair I'm not kidding like, I've tried so many different shampoos. I've tried the Kerastase. I've tried Warrior Professional. Um, so many shampoos. This is it. <laughs> this is what really started the growth and the recovering process for me. But I still thought that this is a good start and I can see if it's working for me, if it's not. But thankfully it did. Just for using them. I think I used them for about a week or like two weeks or something I I saw such a big difference like my hair was looking completely different more healthy like instant difference I don't think I have photos right away if I have I will insert them somewhere around the screen um, but I don't think I do I instantly saw a big change with my breakage it used to be like literally hundreds of little pieces of hair when I was brushing my hair and after I started using these I think I can say maybe the breakage was 70% less instantly like right after I started using these which is like to me it was insane and I know that Olaplex is a bit pricey um, I will link down the products below for the Bulgarian and for the UK users so you can see how much it is. Um, I think in Bulgaria this costs me around 40 leva and the other one around 40. I'm not completely sure. I honestly don't remember. I bought them back in September uh, so I'm not sure but I, ha I will leave links in the description box so you can see. I know it's pricey and for a lot of people it may sound crazy to get shampoo for 40 leva which is like um around 20 pounds but honestly they work and i know they look qu quite small they are 250 milliliters which is small but let me tell you something i've used this for six months no over six months seven months I don't know if you can see they're empty now but I use them for seven months because you need a little bit a little bit goes a long way you don't need to apply tons of shampoo or tons of conditioner to have an effect so they're completely worth it for six and seven months I think the price is pretty pretty good and the results were amazing when I was in the UK I found a brand that claimed that they offer similar products to the Olaplex ones and that they offer similar results and they are as good but for a lot lower price it's the revolution that's what it's called the revolution and I got their bond restore styling cream and uh, bond restore treatment which is number three and number six um, I want to try them out and see if they're really as good but let me tell you something I don't think they are I don't think they did anything different for my hair yeah I mean it's a styling cream so it makes your hair kind of soft um, so maybe number six is okay but I didn't see any result from number three yeah I just don't recommend the revolution products honestly um, I suggest you just 
wait a little bit um save some money and then get the olaplex and just i don't think they do anything than a normal normal like styling cream and a normal treatment so now i want to show you and talk about something that is my holy grail like my holy grail i started using it again back in september pretty intensely and i think that's the biggest change that's what made the biggest change and that's what really helped my hair grow and get to this length i stopped using it um three months ago so now i'm kind of in a rest if that makes sense i'm just not using it right now but that is castor oil and i know this is in a bottle of like the ordinary serum but it's not this it's castor oil i don't know if you can see it's yellow it's super inexpensive like you can find it in pharmacies for literally i got mine um there are just just little bottles of castor oil they offer uh, they sell them in the pharmacies i think you can find them on amazon because i got a bigger one from amazon um basically everywhere everywhere i got mine for one leva no, two leva, around two leva, something like that, but like super cheap, which is, and in the UK, I got my big bottle, like it's this big. I got it for six pounds, I think on Amazon. So it just, yeah, super cheap and it works wonders. Castor oil is supposed to make your hair longer and grow and it really does. Um, I use it as a treatment kind of on my hair and I also use it on my lashes. I get a clear um, mascara wand and I just dip it in a castor oil and I put it on my lashes right before I go to sleep. You can see a difference in just a few days, like three or four days, you have see the difference and it's such a huge difference. Uh, again, I'm not using it right now on my lashes. I haven't used it in a while, but I used to do that and it's really, really good. I use that with this applicator to apply it on my roots only on my roots before i wash my hair so i think i like i put it on put it on my roots all over my head and massage it a little bit and it's best if you do it with your hair down so like the blood flow is better so i do like I massage it a little bit and i leave it on for a few hours around three four hours something like that and then i wash my hair like i normally would just be careful when you wash your hair um, massage more with the shampoo and try to get all of the oil out uh, because if you don't it will look greasy obviously uh, but it's not that hard to wash off I, I promise you it's not that hard but it's definitely worth using it i use it um every time i wash your i wash my hair or once a week i wash my hair twice a week um but sometimes i just don't use it every time but it's my holy grail like i said and it's so good you should definitely get this this is the cheapest way you can get your hair to grow and to look healthy and again it has amazing results super quick results um you don't even need i don't know if without the olaplex it will have the same effect but i think i think yes because i like i said i apply it to my lashes and they grow instantly so definitely get a castor oil um i suggest you put it in a bottle like that and just apply it with this please somebody tell me what was the name of this um applicator i just honestly i don't remember but this is the easiest way for me so you just um drop a few drops on your scalp then on the other side on the back and you massage them and some people say that it's good if you use a shower cap while you're waiting because um, it will help your hair to get warm and you know the oil will work better i don't really use do that i think i've tried it a couple of times i don't think there's much difference um, the oil works on itself perfectly so definitely get a castor oil i will leave it down in the description box again for you to check but yeah 
do it. The last thing I put on my hair is the Olaplex bonding oil, uh, which is number seven. And I got this back in March. So this is my newest hair care product. I love it. <laughs> Again, I will insert photos, I think somewhere on the screen. I have a video of me using it for the first time. And I don't know if you can really see it on the video, but my hair is like super, super shiny. And like, it looks super shiny, glossy, healthy. Um, you can see split ends or stuff like that. If you don't want to spend the money on the shampoo and the conditioner, I think you can just get this one and use castor oil. And I guarantee that you're going to have amazing results with just these two. Again, this is pricey. But again, a little bit goes a long way. So I, I've been using this for the past three months and you can see how much I used. And I don't use that on a daily basis. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Also, because of this um, oil, it doesn't go freezy and I can just, you know, blow dry my hair with the oil and go out. I don't have to straighten it. I don't have to use a curler or anything like that. The bonding oil gets out all of the frizziness and it makes your hair straight and it just looks so good. It looks like you're, you got out of the salon and it doesn't need to be straightened or anything like that. Which is my next tip, just ditch the straightener. I use it for special occasions and sometimes when I'm feeling it, but I try to not use it on a daily basis at all, maybe once a week, but that's it. Honestly, try this, try different methods, like try blow drying. Blow drying is so much better than using a straightener. Try blow drying with this oil um, and try curling the hair with like, with the belt of the bathrobe or just braid your hair, literally braid your hair with again, using the oil, I guarantee you're gonna have amazing results and you wouldn't have to use a straightener, like a heat wand or whatever it is. I can't speak to that, sorry. Curling wand. You look just as amazing. Um, but yeah, this and the castor oil, these are my favorite products. The next thing that I've been doing for maybe over a year now, I think that's actually the first thing I started doing is not using towel to dry out my hair. So after I get out of the shower, I wrap it in this shirt. It has to be a soft shirt, like cotton shirt or like just soft material, nothing too harsh because the towel breaks the hair and it's super damaging for it. Just you have to use um, a t-shirt soft t-shirt first of all i noticed that my hair dries out quickly you don't have split ends you don't have breakage and it's a really good thing super easy super cheap you just take like an old t-shirt that you don't use anymore um, make sure it's like a soft one and you're ready to go similar to this tip is switching your plastic brush to a wooden one um, my dog apparently likes this. I don't know if you can see, but it has teeth um, marks all over it. Yeah, she found it one time and you can see the results. But wooden brush is so much better than a regular one. Because again, a plastic brush pulls your hair way too much and it causes breakage. And it's just not good for it, especially after you get out of the shower, which with this one, like it's totally different. You don't have the same issue. You can brush it while it's still wet and it also creates a nice blood flow on your head. It's so easy to get rid of split ends or anything like that, but at the same time, it doesn't break them and it leaves your hair super smooth and shiny. I'm going to show you. Um, it's so easy to brush. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't pull. It doesn't do anything like that. And it's super, super good. I think you can find them in a bunch of different places. I'm going to link a few down below again for you to check. But this is a very, very good tip. On that same note, stop using normal elastic bands. Like 
ties, hair ties, stop, do that. Use scrunchies, maybe you've heard that millions of times, but scrunchies don't pull out your hair. And also they don't keep your ponytail as tight because what happened to me before was I, I was wearing my ponytails so tight and so pulled back that I started like losing hair and my hair was getting thinner because obviously wearing a ponytail for the whole day for like 12 hours or something like that is super super bad for your head for your hair and for your head not only it's hurting but it's pulling out your hair and it's just not a vibe i don't recommend to get the um, satin ones a lot of people say that they're the best um, because satin is known to be super um super good for your hair and it's again it doesn't break it but for me for my personal experience the satin scrunchies tend to have like a smaller lifespan if that makes sense like they break easy uh, easier and they just mine are literally torn apart and I've worn them literally a few times so I got these which are um, velvet I got 10 for three pounds I got them from TK Maxx again in Bulgaria you can find them literally everywhere you don't need to buy a scrunchie for 30 bucks to feel like it's working and it's doing something you don't need that you literally can buy something for one pound two pounds one level whatever it is and it will work the same way so just get a scrunchie and get one of these um you know they're super popular right now and again they they don't damage your hair and i think they're even better than the scrunchies they keep your ponytail super loose and you can do a bunch of different hairstyles with them you can just do a half updo or a ponytail or a bun keep in mind that pulling your hair with an elastic band or a hair tie or whatever it is is just gonna in the long run it's gonna make you bald so that was everything for today. I hope you guys learned something new and it was helpful. I will keep on trying new products that I can show you. I just ordered shampoo and a conditioner. Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what's your favorite trick, what tips do you have and how you keep your hair so strong and healthy and long. All my social media accounts are linked down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys next time.